Top 10 Ways Europeans Torture Animals as a Tradition 10. Palio in Italy Twice annually, a horse racing event called Palio takes place at Sina, Italy. Palio is infamous for its mortality rates and if the Italian Animal Protection Association is to be believed, this absurd game has killed as many as 49 horses since 1970. Earlier the horse riders used to be liquored up in order to get their testosterones pumping and without caring too straw about the poor animals they were riding. A little hope for humanity has shined in 2011, when the Italian government declined to include the race on its list of official cultural heritage events, this was specifically done to acknowledge the outbursts over the death of horses in the race. 9. Horse wrestling in Spain. For the last 400 years a certain rapid asbestos tradition has been taking place in Galicia, Spain. Rapid asbestos is another name for terrorizing and torturing for fun. One fine day, the drunken residents of Galicia climb up a hill and chase down wild horses into the town where they wrestle them to the ground and clip their manes and tails. This madness lasts throughout the summer. Though animal welfare groups has vehemently criticized this tradition, but unfortunately such negative publicity is only ensuring wider audience. 8. Swallowing a living fish in Belgium. In Gerardsbergen, Belgium, the 30,000 residents take part in an annual festival named Krakelinen. Just like any other festival, Kregel Innen has the townsmen dancing and singing on their toes while parading around the city. This parade dissolves at the foot of a hill, where people gather to watch their mayor swallow a live fish from a 16th century silver goblet. Before the court ruling of 2001, everyone crowding at the foot of the hill were allowed to swallow a fish. It was a collective ceremony back then. Eating of a live fish was considered a metaphorical rebirth by the stupid Gerardsbergenians. 7. Quail catapulting in Spain. Every year the residents of Valencia in Spain collect a number of quail and loading them into a cannon blast them into the sky, for fun. The birds used in playing this game are infants, born only a few weeks ago. After cannonballing, the bruised infant birds are again loaded into a shotgun and shoot into the sky where their bodies are scattered into pieces. Believe it or not there's even a club dedicated to this insensate game and people are often known to crowd around to watch some quail catapulting. 6. Decapitating the goose in Spain. In the small town of Lecciaccio, a certain 350 years tradition prevails where the patron saint's festival is celebrated by suspending a goose up along the rope stretched across the harbour and have people pull at the goose's neck until its head snaps off. No one really knows how it all started. The bright side of the story is that owing to changes in laws, now the geese are killed before getting stringed up. 
5. Tossing a goat off a church building in Spain. Looks like Spain is topping our list of animal haters, after quails, horses and geese, it's time for the goat. Every year the villagers of Manganeses de la Palrosa celebrate the San Vicente de Martyr festival by throwing a goat off of a church building. As the legend goes, it all started when a priest's goat, who had fed many poor people with its milk, fell from the church building but was saved by the townsmen by help of a blanket. 4. Beating the cat with a stick in Germany. So a cat is put inside a sack, then the sack is placed inside a box after which some lunatics would begin hitting the box until the cat starts screeching. And this game is known as Tomcat Boking. Originating in the Middle Ages, this tradition has found admirers even in the modern days. In 2004 a group celebrating bachelor party in eastern German village of Wiednitz, decided to put a cat inside a sack and locked him in a crate which had a hole drilled in the side. Blindfolded. They prodded the broomstick through the hole to make the cat scream while others banged on the crate. 3. A ferret inside the pant in England. Unless you were a smuggler you would not think of doing this. Yorkshire. England is the origin place of a cruel and bizarre sports where a starving live ferret is stuffed inside the participant's pants and the participant is dared to keep the animal close to his crotch for five and a half hours. It is believed that the game originated among the miners to show who was the manliest of all by doing something that no sane person would dream of doing. Later we suppose the game became a pastime and got named ferret lagging. 2. Stoning the donkey in Spain. First off, let me make this clear that we don't have anything against the Spanish. Your pseudo popularity among animal lovers is entirely your fault. The story goes that a few years ago a dangerous and hated rapist of Vilong Weveda Lavira was finally caught and punished by tying him to a donkey, which was paraded on the streets and then leading it outside the village was executed by stoning. Every year the incident is remembered and reenacted. But since the convict is dead, it is only the donkeys who are stoned for a crime they hadn't committed. 1. Burning the bull's face in Spain. Yes, the face. Seriously. If you don't believe me, watch the video. Living up to the incredible Spanish interest in bulls, the simple folks of a tiny village named Medinasli, soap up a bull with tar and set fire to its face. Known as the Toro Jubilo, in this event the bull is lighted and then released to charge freely around the town square. Animal rights group PETA claims that the enraged and frightened bull goes on a rampage that can last for hours, the poor creature ultimately gets disfigured and blinded.